My name's Dale, and welcome back to Metal Tips and Tricks. We're doing the Q&A for Million Machine Accessories riser blocks. And what we're talking about is that block in between the head and the base. That's, I did a whole video talking about that, and I've got some excellent questions to add to that video. The first one comes from Old School Chop Guy. And he talks about being six foot two. So a normal milling machine sits too low for him and he's got to bend over. And that's one of my points I really like about the riser block is it raises up the whole system so when I'm working on the table, I'm actually standing straight up, making it much easier. And I could see being six foot two, I'm only five foot 10, that any height you can get out of it is a luxury. Another gentleman actually talked about he raised his whole machine up on four by fours to help elevate it. And I want you guys to know that's okay. Whatever it takes for you to be comfortable at your milling machine, you need to do it. John Campbell talks about, Dale, you don't show how to reach the drawbar nut. And John, you're right. I'm sorry about that. I'll show you how I do it. Now, like I said, I am five foot ten. And I can reach the draw nut up here, but I prefer to cheat and use a step stool or a block or something like this. Just makes it a little bit easier. The thing gives us some great information. He talks about a website. Down in the post below, I will put this website. And it gives us the dimensions if you want to make your own riser block. So it gives all the radiuses and all that stuff. But I do warn you that a bridge port and a Chinese or an Asian knockoff may not work. Now, that block there is an official bridge port riser block, and it's an Enco lathe, and it fit perfect. I didn't have to do anything. But you may have some problems, but this will at least give you an idea. Also that the riser blocks come in more than one height. You can get them in four, five, six, seven, or eight inches. This one here is a seven inch, and I forgot to tell you guys about that. So you might want to find one that fits your lifestyle in the machine shop. I showed you how I raised the table up and down using the drill, and hopefully this coming Friday I'll have a video on how to make that adapter because I really simplify how to make that adapter, and you don't need a rotary table. So makes it a lot easier, but you do need a lathe. Um, <laughs> well, actually you could do it without a lathe, but we're not gonna go there. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. Um, let's just say you don't need a rotary table. You do need a lathe and a milling machine to make it happen, but you'll see this Friday that it's very easy. Samuel Pine talks about a drill that isn't big enough. So he's got a big Cincinnati mill and a drill like that, that is a Milwaukee, the new fuel brushless system, and it has enough torque to raise that up and down. The DeWalt I have does not. It will smoke it. I also have a um, port cable battery powered. It'll smoke that too. So the Milwaukee works on this, but I wanted to let him know that there is another alternative. And you can go with one with a cord now. Most cordless drills are not strong enough to do it, but this one is. So I want to give you guys the number for this. This is a model number 6615 EHD half inch drill, variable speed, reversible. And this drill here has the most torque of any drill I've ever used in my life. It is so torquey, I honestly will not use it because it is dangerous. My brother Terry gave it to me because he said it was too dangerous for him, and he's a lot stronger and bigger than I am. And if he says he can't handle it, well, I sure can't. And I've tried to prove him wrong a couple times, and have failed miserably. Because I'll tell you, when you're running this thing, and you're drilling, and it hooks, it locks in, this drill will spin, and it will snap your wrist, I promise you. But for a table like that, it would be a really, really great resource. So let's go for the last one here. Frank Salter Ego. 
I don't know, Frank. I hope I got that right. Um, so Frank, when you start reading his note, well, he sounds like a troll, almost. He's definitely schooling me, but I do appreciate what he's talking about, especially the way, the reason I know he's not a troll is because of the last sentence. Let me, let me read the sentence, and then I'll go back and tell you how he schooled me. This is not to diminish anything you're doing. In fact, you've shown this old dog, journeyman certified since 1966, some new tricks. Love your work. Love your videos. Thanks, Frank. And what Frank wants to convey to me is those riser blocks, because it does raise everything up, can cause vibrations or problems in the milling system just because they're not it's not engineered into the whole system. But I will say I've never had any problems with this. I actually have more problems with the dovetail ways being worn out than I do with any vibrations in the head. Now, when I re-scrape this mill, which I'm planning to do this spring, knock on granite, that I may find some vibrations in that head, but I don't think I'm going to. But we're going to find out someday. I just want to say, Frank, I appreciate your comment. I think it's really a great point, and I want people to go back and read it. So look for Frank Salter Ego and read his comment. I think it's really just great. And when you have somebody with that much experience, you have to listen. You have to listen to somebody that has been doing this longer. Well, let's see. I was born in 1964. He's been a journeyman since 1966. So 49 years, I think we'll listen to him. All right. Now what you guys have been waiting for is YouTuber of the Week. YouTuber of the Week is David Richard, and the name of his YouTube channel is Steam Powered Shop, and it is true. It is a steam powered shop. Every machine in there is ran off of one steam engine. So if you know what that means, that means he's got all these flat belts that are overhead running down to each machine, and I think he does that for one reason, to drive the safety trolls nuts, or OSHA, or both. I think it's served for both, but seriously, he has a great shop, something you'll definitely be jealous of if you see it. He's got about 6,000 subscribers. He's only been producing videos for about eight months, and he's done 10 of them, so that means he's putting one out about every month, month and a half or so, and they are spectacular. To actually get to see a living museum or living history like this is definitely a treat. So I want you to go check out Richard's channel. Again, it is Steam Powered Shop. There will be a section down below so you'll be able to connect right to him. All right, you guys, I hope you liked this, this video. If you did, give me some thumbs up. Also, leave me some comments. And until next time, go out in your shop, build something cool. Thanks. Mm -hmm.